This will be the simplest and the easiest HDR workflow video you will find on YouTube, thanks to a new OBS update that allows you to capture HDR footage directly from your desktop. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your face camera and OBS to capture HDR video, then how to import that footage for editing in DaVinci Resolve, and finally, how to export and upload that video to YouTube so your viewers can enjoy that sweet high dynamic range. Haha, <laughs> Noah, let's dive in. Here's everything you'll need to make HDR videos. You'll of course need a display that supports HDR. If you don't have a monitor, then an HDR TV works just fine. Your PC will need a GPU that has the capability of encoding HEVC. That way you can capture HDR games while you play. You want to feature your face cam, you want a camera that supports 10-bit recording. You'll need OBS version 28. If it's still in beta as of when you're watching this video, I recommend checking out my buddy Andy Lippy's install video there in the top right corner. And you'll need DaVinci Resolve 18 to edit. You don't need the studio version, the free version is fine. And that's it. Step one, open up OBS 28 and go to settings. In output, change output mode to advanced and navigate to recording. There, change to the HEVC encoder and change your encoder settings to VBR and the appropriate bitrate by YouTube's recommendations. Be sure to set the profile to main 10 to make sure that it's recording in 10-bit as well. Then go to the Advanced tab and change the video color format to P10 and the color space to Rec 2100 HLG. Step two, if you wanna include HDR face cam in your videos, set your camera to record in any 10-bit recording profile. Then set the color profile to HLG. HLG is compatible with standard dynamic range and HDR content, so it makes our job and YouTube's job just a little bit easier in making your videos look good regardless of what your viewers are watching them on. Step three, after you've recorded your gameplay and face cam, open up DaVinci Resolve and add your video files on the media page. Select both, right click and go to Input Color Space and select Rec 2020, and then right click again and go to Input Gamma and select Rec 2100 HLG Scene. You'll then go to File and then Project Settings where you can set the resolution and frame rate. Then go to Color Management where the magic happens. Here you'll switch to a Color Managed Color Science. You'll uncheck Automatic Color Management and set the Color Processing Mode to HDR Rec 2020 HLG. <gasps> You'll then check the box to use separate color space and gamma and specify the color space to Rec 2020 and Rec 2100 HLG scene. Then save your settings. Right now you might be asking, why does my footage still look like uh, dookie dog shit? And here is unfortunately where I have to deliver the bad news. It was at this point and no earlier than this point in the process that I realized DaVinci Resolve and your graphics card don't actually know how to live preview HDR content. Even if you're using an HDR monitor, you have to pay real American USD dollars or equivalent fiat currency money is made up for a special kind of like reverse capture card to send HDR information to your monitor in real time if you want to grade in real time. So I did what any reasonable person would do. I said, Fuck that you can't have my money and I found a way to cheat instead. Here's how it goes. Step, whichever one we're up to now. From the effects tab, grab an adjustment clip and cover your entire timeline with it and lock the layer so you don't mess with it in the edit. Then hop over to the color page and open up the effects tab and you'll find an effect called color space transform. Drag that onto the node and set the inputs once again to Rec 2020 and Rec 2100 HLG scene. And then, <laughs> you still with me here? Set the output color space to Rec 709. As if by magic, your entire project will now look like it is in standard definition, but will still have all the underlying properties of HDR footage. And since we went with HLG footage, we can even do things like color grade our face cam footage and get a not perfect, but pretty good idea of what it will look like on both HDR and SDR displays. Just make sure you're applying your changes to the face cam footage and not to the adjustment clip. Step, the last one, yay. When you're done editing and ready to export, disable the adjustment clip, but right click it and hit copy. Then select each title, text, or otherwise SDR content in your project and right click and go to paste attributes. Here you'll select color correction and hit apply. You can also go into the color page and adjust the offset if you want the text to stand out more. Just avoid getting too close to pure white so you don't blow out the eyeballs of someone with a brighter HDR monitor than you. Because uh, 
then bitches get bright. You'll then hop over to the deliver page where you'll set format to QuickTime, codec to DNxHR, type to HQX 10 bit, and then in advanced settings, color space tag to direct 2020 and gamma tag to rec 2100 HLG scene. Then you render it and you upload it to YouTube and you give it a few hours to process the HDR. And that is, and I can't stress this enough, the simplest way as of now to make HDR content on YouTube. <laughs> This is frustratingly new technology that I am no expert in. So if you have any insight to better ways of wrestling HDR content, you can let me know in the comments, or you can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash on the rocks, where you can tell me live how much time I wasted and watch me die a little on the inside in real time. Oh, and big thanks to these beautiful people who support me on Patreon, especially Haya, who double checked and made sure for me that all of these features were available in the free version of Resolve. I'm going to bed. I need like a VTuber model of the dad from Coraline, like.